Man, you know what was great? I don't think anybody that one time I totally read all the stories I do. before we you started. You listen to the new record? No. Okay. Well, let's do it again. That's cool. You got to be confident, dude. Oh my gosh. Be Shut confident. your mouth, Steve. You were like a little child. I will punch you. I was so wondering, I was sir, if, if maybe to... I could get some more porridge, please. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to punch you even, harder next you time. You even punch like a <laughs> Stop it. Guys, just wondered if maybe I could handle the question today. Welcome to Stand By For Awesome, a show that asks the question, where is Dex and who is this Marcy chick? Hey, what's up with your hair? You like it? No. I like you, you as you. <laughs> yeah. I like you for you. What are you doing? But what if you guys, this is what you want to do, I've been then... using the onion juice. And it's <laughs> really been working. Man, it, I'll say. It That's looks... why I've been wearing my hat a lot is because I wanted to surprise you guys. It looks great. It, man, and Meatloaf just called and was like, who stole my look? Man, I'll tell you this too, that hat completely covered it up. It looks like a, a very, very matted beehive. I love how I can put my I can put it in a ponytail now. So oh, I can man. just take it out and kinda Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. You know what you you know what you remind me of? <laughs> Dude, those are some sweet bangs, man. <laughs> you remind me of last Tuesday night. What? Which I can't talk about. Ugh. Do you have what? do you eat your hair a lot? Yeah, I do actually. That's why I have to pull it back oh. quite a bit. I'm constantly doing this and people get frustrated, but you know what? They can deal with it. They can deal with it. Those people. Okay, somebody's projecting again. Welcome to Stand By For Awesome, where we try to inject the awesome into your day. Mm -hmm. Dex, you've already done it. Mm. Thank you. Just with your looks. Onion so juice works. Gosh, you, you he's an advocate, great. man. You smell like onions all the time, but it's totally I worth it. I was wondering what that was. I like it. Whew. We got a lot to cover today, guys. Yeah, huge episode. Did anybody actually figure out what we're talking about on this episode? No, yes. I'm worried about my hair. Ah, okay. Well, good. Did you worry about your hair? I worried about my sweet C3PO mug from my coffees today. I'm pretty excited about that. He's got a red arm, just like in episode seven. So um, it's pretty sweet. That's, That's pretty about sweet. all I took care of today. Anybody else? Um, I actually looked over the prep sheet. Mm. Mm. That's good. First, we're going to talk about Gawker. The Olympics. No, nope. okay, Gawker. Didn't do any research today. Gawker.com, so one of the biggest, biggest kind of celebrity gossiping sites, whatever. This is the site that brought you the whole Hulk Hogan um, oh, video right. scandal. Yeah. yeah, the big one that took him down. So much so that WWE completely erased him from their website. Yeah, scrubbed their him. their database. He's gone. Mm -hmm. No more Hulk Hogan. But never forgotten in our hearts. Well, I forgot about him. Did you remember? I, I know he won like $100 million in the lawsuit. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's the thing. It's a huge deal because he effectively won a, uh, a lawsuit that means that the press can't exactly always encroach on privacy. It's a big, big deal as, a, as, a, as far as like, yeah. I got a, you know, I got a reporting question. is. Yeah. Does, does that mean I, I'm, I need to... Maybe go back and revisit my Seth Rogen stuff because I'm actually like liable it's too for, late for that. words. And it's already on the internet, man. Too late. Okay. People oh, shared it. Seth, I'm sorry. Oh, it's already out there. Their yeah. final post uh, was an expose on the history of the website and how the end of Gawker made the most fitting story mm. that was ever on the website. Wow. We'll put a link down here in the YouTube thing if you mm. want to read it. It kind of covers the entire story of Gawker.com, which it was pretty fascinating. I read it the other day and I was mm. pretty blown away. Uh, Katie, factual information. Do you have any more words? Who? I'm sorry? You need to address him as Dex. I can't. If you read about it or if you heard anything about it, what, did, what do you think about the, the whole infringement on the rights of the press? You can comment in the comment section. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and subscribe and add us on Facebook. Do whatever you want to do. That's today's thing. Thank you. Ow! Oh! kind of wondering if maybe I could just maybe ask the opening question today. No! What did I do wrong? Nothing. You just yelled at me. <laughs> you okay? Oh my gosh, Steve, I'm here. 
diva. You're you're my diva. You're my friend diva. Wendy from middle school. Oh, uh, peppermint patty. What am I doing, Sally? Dumbledore over here. No, <laughs> you just spit on me, Triple H. Marcy. Oh my God. Don't read that tweet. You're a Marcy. <laughs> but, but Marcy had glasses. She's she very gets smart. real. You make fun you of are, me You are a hey. beautiful woman. You called me Tubby this morning. I, okay, but it, Tubby's different than like, I'll never be that close. Oh, yeah. How do you say her name? Is it just Macy or May I see it? Nah. What are we talking about? Maisie Williams? Uh, Maisie, nah. is that how you say it? I think it? it's yeah. Man. Maybe I am. I apologize. Oh my gosh, Maybe can I we am. do this for a segment? Poop's getting real on Game of Thrones, okay? Poop is getting real on Game of Thrones. <laughs> there was a tweet about it. <laughs> Who says that? Well, I'm not allowed to say what they really said. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, oh, yeah. he edited The it. dung, the poo. Bleep is getting real it's on Game getting of Thrones. It's getting real. Yeah. Season yeah. seven, the final season of Game of Thrones. Don't spoil it for me, I'm only on season one. They chopped Ned Stark's head off. Oh my God! <laughs> Why would you do that? I am not even there. Do they really? Oh yeah. In the first season? <laughs> what, what? He's like the biggest actor on the show. Why would they kill him? Are you kidding me right now? Well, Sean Bean? Yeah. Lord of the Rings? Chop it off. Are you just spoiled that for me. And a lot of other people. Oh my God. I might God. get death threats. What is wrong with you? Are we gonna put like a spoiler <laughs> alert on here? All right, so oh my Maisie God, Williams. You more. Maisie Williams. Which one does she play? Is she still alive? She's Arya Stark. Oh, and that's yes, right. she is still alive. Gosh. She is like a trained assassin. She better Whoa. be. Uh, her dad's head apparently gets chopped off. She's gotta do something about that. The cool thing about Arya is that she loves to wear people's faces. What? What kind of show is this? It's Game of Thrones. Okay. It's the most she's an popular assassin. show. She I wears other people's faces. Well, at least she's so wearing she something. Because what I've seen so far, they're not wearing a whole lot. Well, uh, she's kind of uh, she's kind of uh, stoking the flames, if you will, for all the Game of Thrones fans out there. Because they're right now they're filming season seven of Game yes. of Thrones. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so she's out there live tweeting while no, they're filming. No, no. So okay. Let's just read so, some of these tweets here. Real quick. Oh. I've never seen an episode of Game of Thrones. Well, now you don't need to because you just ruined that the greatest character on the show gets That's his fine. head chopped I mean, off they like just chop jerk. his head right why, well, why would oh I watch? <laughs> why would I watch Game of Thrones? I hate you. You'd, do you like sword fighting? Uh, yeah, I've heard. Do you of like it. medieval times? Yeah, I love it. It's a like great restaurant. Do you like uh, yeah. White Walkers? Uh, that sounds racist. They're like zombies, but oh. they're White Walkers. Wait, I don't what? like zombies. White Walkers? They're called White Walkers. What do they do? They they're an army of of zombies that kill things in their way. So here is what uh, Arya Stark has uh, been tweeting. Mm. Um, oh no, my father lost his head. She tweeted, "Holy balls." Okay. Understood. Enough said. Oh, uh, wait. Scratch that. Nothing will prepare you for this. Did you just say scratch holy balls? Okay. Kid show. And uh, poop just got real. Except she didn't say poop. Macy oh, wow. Williams. Maisie. That's what yeah. I said. That's Don't right. even watch the show. Can I tell you about the Red Wedding? No, the dude. Red wedding, stop talking. Cut. We're done. I feel like you're spoiling Bad. stuff. Bad. I mean, there was blood everywhere. Stop talking. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Economy Talk with Teo. Tonight we're going to talk about the issues plaguing Americans. What are they? Who brought them on us? Monsters? We'll find out. If you'd rather not talk about that, but you want to subscribe to our channel, you can click somewhere. And don't forget, you can always visit standbyforawesome.com You know what? Bruce Willis could see dead people because he was dead. What's next? Let's do Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Welcome back to Stand By For Awesome. We got to talk about something very small, mm. but very big. It's Ant-Man. Oh, okay. I got worried there for a second. Family show. Yeah, we're going to talk about Ant-Man. Yeah. Because they just announced Michael Pena is coming back for the sequel. One of the best parts about Ant-Man, uh, which by the way, 
coming in October. You and I, New York Comic Con, best friends for life. If Dex, Dex doesn't punch you in the there. face. Yeah, he's not going to be there. Ant-Man is portrayed by Paul Rudd. In the original comic books, it was Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas. In nice. the new version, it actually happened that they took Scott Lang's character, who was the new Ant-Man, and kind of retconned a bunch of stuff in history for the movie so that they could make a cool version with Paul Rudd. Turns out to be one of the greatest Marvel films of all time. Of all time. Yeah. Who's Ant-Man? That explained nothing I to me. I literally just said <laughs> That was everything. the geekiest, nerdiest talk I've ever heard in my life. You still didn't tell me who the heck Ant-Man is. Whatever what, what's his freaking power? Let me, let me show you. Game of Thrones. Look at that hair. Are you kidding this? me? What if you could reduce yourself to the size of an ant, but you were proportionately stronger, just like ants are? <laughs> that sounds terrible. That's Ant-Man. That is, that is a stupid. terrible superhero. Sounds actually really good. Gosh, bad. it's a good thing he's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. he's pretty cool. I, he's one of my favorites. Evangeline Lilly just announced at New York Comic Con in October, so pretty excited. Here she likes cool dudes. I know, I hope there aren't any girls in the area because I won't be able to control Steve-O at all. Anyway, Michael Pena, he got announced for the movie. It's going to be super exciting. Ant-Man the Wasp comes out 2018, and we are stoked. Tell us if you're stoked. You can comment, subscribe, add us on Facebook, all that other shenanigans. Yes. Who's Ant-Man? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you, you didn't see Ant-Man? No. You ha I just realized you have Evangeline Lilly's hair for all my Ant-Man, so... It works out perfectly. <laughs> I kind of look like her. Guys. Yeah. I'm Ant-Man. <laughs> How did you... I'm really glad I got to meet you today. I didn't want to say anything. You look just like him. So what was it like being totally in love with Lily Potter even though she married somebody else? Talking to me? Yeah, talking to you, Severus. I look just oh. like you. No, you do not look yeah, just I like do. me. What are you talking here just about? just throwing punches at me, but I look just like you. You look nothing Everything like me. Everything you're saying to me is directed right back at you. Nevada Kadabra. Killing curse. Still here. Thank you. Celeste, my second wife, said you cannot kill him. Well, too late, I just did. It takes a few years. The fried chicken will get him. Because KFC just came out with a new sunscreen. Boom! That's what we're here to talk about. Uh, for those of you who love just getting tan and the smell of fried chicken, do we have something magical for you. Microphone. It's called KFC's Summer Lovin' Sunscreen of Doom. What's it really called, Tail? I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. It's uh, 30 SPF, which is pretty good. And they say it smells just like fried chicken, but the real thing is, it smells horrible. Consumer <laughs> reviews are ripping it. I think it sounds like a great idea. When you go to the beach, the one thing you want to smell like is fried chicken. Yeah. It's always been my experience anyway. What about you guys? Love yeah. fried chicken. Back to you, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Am I really a girl? Man, I am uber excited for this next break, guys. It was an uber joke. Yeah. You guys not talking on this one? This one's all me. We wanted you to float out there and see what happened for a while. Oh, okay, cool. Speaking of floating, uh, you ever been in a situation where you're with a group of people but you feel like you're all alone because they don't understand you and they're not willing to have conversations with you and the next thing you know you're like, I just want to get out of this crazy place and go home. But you've had a couple C-3PO's so you can't just take yourself home. You need a friend. No, I enjoy my friendships. Oh, okay, cool. Uber. That is a uh, pretty sweet getup. That's where you call. Have you guys ever taken? Have you taken an Uber? I've actually never taken an Uber because I I'm like being an Uber alive. Driver. You're an Uber driver. You are. Okay. That's a good side. That's pretty cool. Well, did you know that you're about to lose your job as an Uber driver? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You have beautiful eyes, Dex. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, this hair really just. It brings, brings them out. out, and it's your shirt. Great. Yeah. So Uber purchased Auto, and Auto is a self driving vehicle yeah. maker, they're developing it. 
And it does leave a lot of Uber drivers questioning their place in this world. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Anthony Lewandowski, he was the dude that like helped come up with Google's self-driving car. And then Uber was like, let me sign this check here. Boom, we own you, slavery. That's Whoa. weird. I know. That's, it was weird. It was weird. But different. they bought a dude. And uh, he now works for Uber. And uh, he's making self-driving cars. Oh, it's like the... What? Oh, he's got a phone call. Hello? Someone can you push. give me 10 minutes? I'll be there to pick oh, you up. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, Uber. somebody's calling Uber. for Uber. Oh, okay. So what you do is you have Just an app on your, your phone address. and you take okay. it out. And okay. then you order an Uber and it you it tells you, like, you put in your address <laughs> and stuff and then you can see a car and you can select it and they'll pull up. Oh my gosh. You go out there, you ride with them. Yeah, but how's it going to work if it's self-driving? Robots. <laughs> robots. I believe it's pronounced robots. Wait, they robots are going to take my job? Yeah. Yeah. It's the Anthony future, man. But wait, don't, Lano. but I need to be there. No. no. I have to be in the car still. No, not no. really. Ironically enough, though, these Ubers, these self-driving ones, they are still going to have drivers with them just to kind of make sure everything's Thank going you. okay. Then that's what right. is the purpose? I feel like that's an accident waiting to happen. Well, literally. Slow steps mm. toward progress okay. until we live in the computer Being control Being an Uber future. driver is, is uh, not as easy as it, it seems. You have to have good conversation with the people that you pick up. And do you get tips? Absolutely. Yeah, all the time. Like, hey man, do. what do you think about bangs? And he was like, I'm going for it. Great tip. You know, I have a feeling that if you don't quit messing with him, you're gonna lose your hair privileges. No, I know. I had a friend in junior high. She was just as here. mean. Is there scissors anywhere? In the meantime, if you're in the market for robotic cars, Uber is right up your alley. Or maybe you're waiting on you. Try. You better get out there because he's got to go. I have to go pick this he's guy. He's got to go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Professor Snape over here. Where'd you go? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what's real and what's not. Whoever wins the bet at the end of the episode gets to chop Steve O's hair off. No, no, I will never. I was gonna take it a different cut direction. my hair. He just gave me his HBO Go password. I'm gonna change it now. <laughs> Such. You are that chick, man. Ooh. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> well, Thank isn't you, this Lord. a good thing? Because that means I'm not gonna be talking much this week. I wish you were I just really wanna start yelling Def Leppard. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Very confused. I feel like this new haircut is just wrecking everything. Boo, boo, boo. Welcome back to Standby for Awesome. My name is Teo. I'm Steve-O. Steve-O. Marcy. Dex. What's happening? His a lot of tension. Here's what happened, guys. Dex did the onion juice challenge thing. It super worked. He's got crazy hair, and now it's like this weird rivalry competition thing. It was kind of like that chicken class, and you were like, why is there gotta be a competition? Mm. Can't we just be friends? And then the chick was like, no, clearly, because mm. I've got adversity with you. I was like, adversity? That doesn't even make sense. Why would you use that word in that sentence? And then she was all like, I'm gonna fight you with stuff because words and bangs. And I was like, now it's getting weird. And then I just left because I didn't know what to do with the situation. Also, I didn't graduate high school. Sounds like you got in a lot of fights with a lot of girls, Steve. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. You know what? It sounds like it's almost a different reality. Ooh, mm. great segue. Talking a little bit about virtual reality, augmented reality, microwave. And how reality. it affects you, Dex. How does it affect you? Let me ask you this. Have mm. you ever played Pokemon Go? Every seven minutes. Have you ever played Pokemon Go? Yes. Well, I've never played it. Conquered the game. But you know how in the game the little thing will pop up in your living room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boop. That's augmented reality. I love it. So check it out. This augmented reality is blowing up. In the next four years, it's projected to be a $162 billion market. Wow. Yeah, Nintendo's got a new system coming out, and they've actually approached all the game makers and said, please try to include an augmented reality feature in your game. We actually saw an article earlier today about a brand new South Park game that was blowing everybody's minds. And noses. Well, nostrils, really. Yeah. It has to do with... Poop smells. Kaka poo poo. Yes. Whoa. 
You do cockapoo. You should ring the bell on I'll yourself. that. Thank you. See, I'm helping you use... Jack stole my bell from me, everyone. So. It's my bell. He's taking it from me. That's okay. I've still got the witch box, which is all good. It still controls my destiny and everyone around me. Steve-O, tell mm -hmm. them a little bit about the Oculus Rift. Well, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something. It's called the Nozulus Rift. It's not actually. the same thing. It's uh, pretty great. It happened a few weeks ago. It's a VR peripheral that emits an odor of flatulence. Seriously. It does. I'm not even joking. This happened at Gamescom, and basically they were like, hey guys, check out this new game we're working on. Um, I'd love to tell you the name of the game, but I also feel like I'm going to get in trouble for it. Ah, why not? It's called South Park, The Fractured Butt Hole. The Fractured Butt Hole. It's an FCC violation. No, I think it I, is. you know, I don't well, think this is internet, so we're wide open. Exactly. I don't know the so, rules. Here's cool. what happens. You seriously put on this virtual reality headset and you're like walking around and there's power in your butthole. Yeah, thanks Ubisoft for putting that one together because seriously, you use flatulence and the smells, it's kind of like when we did that Sir Stroman thing, the actual like press people that were taking part in it kept inducing vomit yeah. from their mouths due to the smell. Not making this up. You can YouTube it. Wait, you are YouTubing it. Thanks for watching. No, that's real, guys. That's real. I'm sending you the article right now. So that you have the, you know, stuff for it since I just totally went off on a tangent. We did a completely different segment. You can deal with it. I'm like the born identity up in this. You can't. Contain me. Sing a song about the heart. Sing a song. Can I pee? Dexter's getting sleepy. Medic! Dude, your hair is freaking me out. Why? Because I look like you? No, you don't look like me! This is what you look like. No, I do not yes, look you like do. that. You look just like this. This I look nothing like that. I kind of look like this. Abraham from this is, uh, this is great. Got flowing locks of awesome. Never cutting. I look just like you. you look, if you had glasses, you would seriously look like Mar Marcy. Darcy. Darcy. Okay. I look just like you. You look nothing like me. Yes, I do. Oh. I look just like you. You look like the mom in that one sitcom about that one thing. Just look. Boom. <laughs> no. No. Here. You're like super parted in the middle, you've got this weird like thing See? going on. Oh my god, it's like you took my hair <laughs> off my head. Oh my god. god. I, I really need some hair spray. You, you got any hair spray on you? Oh my gosh. Yes you do, Becca. Oh, Bobby Pants. Nobody is cutting my hair. No one. What is that? <laughs> um, that one guy that fights in the old movies? It's um. He knows what I'm talking Titans, about. Titans, the uh. Yeah. Clash of the Titans. That guy. What? Yeah. No. Is that what you're talking about? No, you look like a tennis player. <laughs> Andre Agassi? No. Serena yeah, Williams. Serena Williams. He sounds yeah, like an angel. Plus. Justin? He started on Broadway. The little kid from Stranger Things, Toothless? You know, he's like the, uh... He can sing. Chunk. He's like Dude. Chunk from Dude. No, 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 no. He, he... There's a couple videos circulating on YouTube right now. He is brilliant. Ah. Oh. You ready to talk about some Stranger Things? Yes. Okay, good. Something we can all agree upon, Stranger Things is probably the best television series to come out this year. Am I right? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay, good. Not only did we get uh, eight glorious episodes on Netflix, but we also got some really cool insight into these kids. Uh, Gaten Matarazzo, he was the little kid that played Dustin, Toothless. Mm -hmm. Turns out he got his start on Broadway, uh, circulating the interwebs right now. A pretty great little video of him rocking some karaoke. Nice. Les Mis. Hi, I'm Gaten Matarazzo. I'm 11 years old, and I play Gavroche in Les Miserables on Broadway. He blows it out of the water. Mm. This kid, there's nothing he can't do. It's way cool. 
Okay, so okay. Stranger Things Season 2, we're mm -hmm. starting to learn more and more and more about it. Really cool things are starting to come down the pike for it, and we are excited. The Duffer Brothers have given us some really cool insight to what they expect from Season 2 already. Taylor, what are some things that we can look forward to on Season 2? Number one, our girl Barb. Ooh! Barb! Yeah. She's going to get a redemption. Oh, She's she not is? coming back from the dead. Oh, oh. They said they don't see that happening. What? Yeah, one, I spoiler believe, alert! If you haven't seen it, she's totes dead. We've already spoiled the whole series. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, so Barb, yeah. Uh, I believe one of the the Duffer brothers confirmed he doesn't see how she could really come back from that. And if you've seen the episode, maybe I mean, we'll show a picture right here. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, yeah, she's not coming back, but she will get a redemption. Because one of the big questions that everybody was asking at the end of Stranger Things was like, why didn't anybody care about Barb? That's true. Yeah. They kind of just go on, life is normal. Yeah. You've got Hopper giving the egos away. You've got mm -hmm. all the kids back. Yeah, everything's kind of back to normal. In the late 80s, they made yeah. a movie about it called What About Barb? Oh. Starring Billy Crystal. That was Bill Murray. somebody else. This is Bill Murray. It was a great movie. Nope. Totally they had to different. run this whole train of cattle. All the way across the West. City, city slickers. And then Nicolas Cage jumped into a volcano. Love that. It was fantastic. Yeah, and so also season two, which we another thing we're super excited about. Yeah. Returning characters Ooh. other than Barb. Okay. We're going to see the next evolution in the story of not only the kids mm -hmm. that came out normally, but maybe the kids that came out not so normally. Right. And there's an interesting theory floating around about the monster, in fact, mm. that we need to talk about. Because one of those not-so-normal kids was Eleven herself. Who shined one of the greatest characters on the show. Well, if you look closely throughout the entire series, Eleven is very apologetic throughout when talking about uh, the Upside Down. She's when always saying she's sorry. And uh, you kind of don't she have an understanding of that. She looks a little scared all the time. She does look scared. She looks uh, like on, she's on edge a little bit. Yeah. Dude. Uh, which culminates in the finale when she finally confronts the monster. Now, if you notice in the scene, oh, mirror, what, what? Up. Okay, whoa. Good job. She puts her hand up to stop the monster, and at the same time, the monster puts the hand up. People are thinking maybe they're mirroring because Eleven is the monster. You guys are very, very comfortable. This is very, that is the fan theory. Yeah. Eleven is the monster. And think about it, too. When she went to the other side, it looked nothing like right every or the upside down. Mm. It looked nothing like it when other people would go to the upside that's down. That's right. So that's it a, was just that's her a floating theory. Now this is the best part about Stranger Things. Not only did they get people talking because it was such an excellent show, but now there's so much speculation as to season two. And huge shout out to the Duffer Brothers for kind of giving us minor pieces into season two already, so that we can keep floating out ideas and getting excited. I don't know what's happening necessarily. Trail it in. Okay. Trail, Trail it in. Real. Trail okay, I'm going the other way. Come going the other way. Come okay. Come back. All right. Here we All right. Now everybody right. do this. Touch my ears. Touch. Oh. Get a hand on these. Okay. Get these in there. These are so small. Can They're you so hear me? Small. Very little. Can you hear Steve? Okay. Those are this little. Okay. All right. Thank His you. These are this little. Just wanted to draw attention to my adorable ears one totally more cool. time. I love it. You Thanks. know what else I love? Stranger Things season two coming to a Netflix near you in 2017, more 18 or 19. They haven't officially announced it yet. One day. He needs more positive reinforcement. This guy over here, gosh, he's so mean to him. Oh, I'm there's my, oh, Buck, my old co-host. What's Aaron say? Well, there you go. You solved your disappearing hair problem. Plus, you look like someone from Robin Hood, which is a huge plus in my book. Congrats, Dad. Oh, sorry, finger clap. We have to finger clap. Let me show everybody this. Look, when we clap so we save Celeste's ears, we have to do this. It's pretty fun. Do a thing. How's my hair look? Oh, it looks awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah. We just started a new feature here at Standby for Awesome called Time to Netflix with Dexflix. Oh, Dexflix. Yeah. Are you Wait. sure you don't want to do hot takes? Hot takes. You can Does dress. that mean like we're actually going to like just chill and watch Netflix with you? You just invited me to basically come have sex with you. <laughs> oh, my God. Family show. That's, that's what you, you just said. Hang on, I'm, I'm, 
I'm consulting the ratings That's board. That's code for, Forget hey, it, they I say. want to have sex with you. No? <laughs> I mean, I know I have beautiful hair now. I mean, but. I knew I wasn't with the times, but I didn't realize I was that out of the times. I thought it just meant, hey, come have some pizza and let's watch a dope show. No. Like, think... stand by for awesome. No, really? No, it's not. Wow. In fact, no. uh, lingo needs to be a little more straightforward. I guess that's why so many people are confused and wearing wigs these days. Am I right? So, speaking of being straightforward, Steve-O, something got handed down from up top. What? What? The man upstairs. Got? Rick. Oh, right. He <laughs> said that, uh, he said that we're going to have to make some changes to Dex Flicks. Why? Well, since you kicked Dex out of Comics Corner, I mean, I didn't kick him out of a Dex gets corner. to just... kick you out of Dex flicks. Are you, what? Time to go, buddy. I can't do anything. <laughs> Are you really going to kick me out of my seconds, show? Five seconds to get out of here. You're many, get, many entertainment you're lawyers. You're going to get sprayed. I mean, I don't want to cause I could a scene. Do. But Three, two. Are you going to cause a scene? One. Gosh, he's lucky. He's lucky. Here we go. It is time now to Dex Flicks with Netflix. Why is he lucky? Wait, here we go. All right, here's what I want to do. I'm a professional binge watcher. I love Netflix. And I've watched many, many shows over the years. I got five shows that you should be binge watching. And if you haven't binge watched these shows yet, well, here's your chance, okay? Dexter, have you seen Dexter? You are him. I am Dexter? Yes. Not Dexter. Oh no, the show about the, the show serial Dexter, killer that yes. kills other serial killers. This is a crime drama mystery, okay? I've seen it. This is one of my favorites. It stars uh, uh, Michael C. Hall. Yep. He plays Dexter. Yep. Yep. It's yep. based out of Miami. And uh, here's the thing about uh, Dexter he's actually a good serial killer. Okay. If you Why do you have that. a standard for that? Well, um, he, uh, he basically wor works the crime scenes. And uh, he'll go and he'll, he'll find these, these criminals, these bad, evil guys. Yep. And then he'll go and kill them to kind of... Um, um, How do you feel about killing people? Well, I don't... I don't... House of Cards. Love House of Cards. If you love a good political thriller, this is your show. I love politics. What do you think? Of, you love politics? No. Who are you voting for? What? Are you an Obama fan? What do you think of uh, Hillary Clinton? You, fifth, Trump? Fifth Amendment. Fifth. Okay. Fifth Amendment. House of Cards. Story of Frank Underwood, who played by Kevin Spacey, who I love. Uh, a Democrat from South Carolina's 5th Congressional District and House Majority Whip Who? Congressional. Um, Robin Wright, really, is all you need to know about this show. She played Princess Buttercup in The Princess Bride. And she is beautiful. I didn't like Princess Bride. I don't like you right now. Bloodline. This one is... A lot of these involve blood and murder. Bloodline is an American Netflix original thriller or drama. Um, and is created by Todd A. Kessler, Glenn Kessler, and Daniel Zellman. Um, do you like Breaking Bad? Yes, I do. You love Breaking Bad? Love it. You love Bloodline. Okay. It's about a family who's torn apart by an evil brother who has a evil. drug problem. Do you feel like if we had to compare each other, who would you say you would kill more, me or Steve-O? Uh, probably Steve-O. Just wanted to make sure. Completely agree. So much so that you and I would never disagree and it would never lead to some kind of altercation. Marco Polo. This show is... A pool game played by no, young children. No, it is not. Um, Marco Polo, do you know who Marco Polo was? He was an explorer. He was an explorer. He did, and every time he would go to find a new place, he would say, Marco, and then if the island yelled back Polo, mm -hmm. he knew that's where mm -hmm. he needed to go. How about Genghis Khan? You know who Genghis Khan was? Yeah, they make a fantastic steak bowl, but the Love cool thing about it is you show Genghis up, Grill. you get to add as many ingredients as you want. You should see my bowl. I can stuff that thing, man. I'm like a pro when it comes to that, because what you got to do is you got to take the meat first and then mash it down. I believe you. All right, uh, Marco Polo, disagree. beautiful, beautiful. If you are looking for a cure for the ha the Game of Thrones um, hangover, because you know we miss Game of Thrones, then Marco Polo is going to satisfy that urge. What kind of urges do you have, Dex? I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about some very wonderful Netflix shows. 
Luther is a BBC show. Luther is played by Idris Elba, who is, gosh, just a wonderful human He's being. He's got a hot bod, too. He is a hot bod. And uh, he plays a detective. And if you love uh, solving crimes, Luther is one of those shows that, that keeps you thinking. Let me ask you this. If you were ever involved in a crime, like maybe you had murdered somebody, how hard do you think people would have to try to solve it? Like, how good are you at covering your tracks? I think I'd be very good. Good. Um, Luther, Idris Elba, gosh, hot bod right there. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so there you go. Five amazing shows that you can binge right now on Netflix. Um, there you go. That's Netflix. Would you mind if we brought Steve-O back? Mm. Not for this segment, just later. So it's not just me and you. That's cool. I'm fine with that. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna go like that right now. <laughs> Look at that. I wish you could start wearing that around. You should wear that to work tomorrow. That would be so fun. Your Tweety Bird cup. <laughs> Tweety Bird is C3PO. You yeah. jerks. Yeah, C3PO, huh? <laughs> Total Tweety Bird. Just because you look like my high school girl. <laughs> <laughs> Your high school girlfriend looked like this? <laughs> Good gosh, awesome. almighty. Oh man, yeah. shooting for the moon Just back then. Marcy, if you're still out there, I love you, girl. Just hot. This looks like Tweety Bird, man. It does. <laughs> hey, you got it. You got to say that so in the next mad. one. I thought about all episodes. <laughs> oh, that is Tweety Bird. It is C3PO, man. You got to say it. It is literally 3PO. Just go. Not going anywhere, guys. Be really cool. Hey, okay, right here. Just, just let us do this real quick. Be really cool. Let me do this for you real quick. No. Look at me. I can't. What is it? I'm not leaving. Is Gosh. it me? You know what you're reminding me of right now? My high school girlfriend. Can I have your Tweety Bird cut before I leave? <laughs> Did you just call this a Tweety? It's clearly C-3PO. Get out of Comics Corner. That looks that like is a this Tweety is Bird. That is a Tweety Bird cup, and I'm taking it with me. Oh. It's hung up. Just stand. Okay. Well. Why'd you pick a Tweety Bird cup? Okay. It's Did you look at it? Though? It um, looks like. It's absolutely C-3PO. Boom. But, mm, talking about Iron Man. Not only has Tony Stark been going through some crazy stuff in the middle of Civil War II. He's yeah. at odds with Captain Marvel. But turns out... He's actually not going to be Iron Man. No. Uh, they're actually giving it to a 16-year-old girl named Riri Williams. They're not actually calling her Iron Man. They're calling her Iron Heart. Okay, here's the thing. Which I'm pretty sure is the name of a Care Bear. Well, Iron Heart. And here's the thing. We actually think it's a great move, or at least I do. Not calling her Iron Man because she's not a man nor made of iron. True. They didn't want to go with Iron Woman because that sounded kind of... Well, weird and odd. Derivative. Yeah. Uh, you already had Pepper Potts once in the uh, iron suit. They called her Rescue. Rescue. So they didn't want to go with Rescue. In fact, uh, being an African-American character, she's actually not even the first African-American Iron Man, obviously, War Machine, because mm -hmm. you've got Rhodey. So this isn't really a giant leap. Uh, Marvel's really excited to have a brand new Iron yeah. Man character. I don't, I don't know. I want to wait and see. We'll Brian see. Michael Bendis, one of the greatest writers in the world right now. So We like him. We trust him. A lot yeah, of people don't him. like him. A lot of people think he gender swaps or you know whatever swaps just to do it. Uh, Miles Morales, case in point. He was the first uh, half African-American, half Spanish Spider-Man. And I remember when they announced it, and I was furious because mm -hmm. I thought it was one of those gimmicks where they were like, hey, we got to be more diverse. Let's kill Peter Parker, bring in this African-American Spanish... Spider-Man, and turns out he's one of the greatest characters in the Marvel Universe. So, I feel like he kind of gets a... Just you know, want to point out real quick that yeah. Dex is using your Tweety Bird. Oh, oh my gosh. Tweety Why is our friend Becca just hanging out? I don't know. We invited her weeks ago and she never left. Gosh, that's <laughs> weird. I don't know how to get rid of her. And you're kind of stuck with her. There's a book that's come out. Yeah. Only on Amazon. It's pretty exciting. And it's just a listing. If you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda, maybe you love Link. Ow! Oh, gosh! I knew she was a witch. Gosh! 
Tail getter. Tail getter. Wow. Um, right in the Magneto tattoo. Oh, man. Uh, we want to thank Astro Zombies for sponsoring our Comics Corner segment. Mm -hmm. Great segment. We talked about diversity, women in Iron Man suits, and women beating men. Steva. Lots of violence today it's on just the show. On. Comics Corner. Which we don't Man. condone. We Which, wanna... by the way, we want to make sure that you know that we do not condone women on men violence. There's a lot of men who don't say anything because it's like, hey, man, I don't want to be that guy that's getting beat up by the girl. It's okay, man. That's right. Seek help. Steve-O will always blame a girl for beating him up. <laughs> what? So he's standing up for you. <laughs> but don't do it until I tell you about something. Wait, what are you going to tell me? You'll know. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll hey, know. I don't, I don't want to rip it off because it's hilarious and I love it. Does my hair look anything like that? Just like it. All right, let's do the wrap. Ready? Stop it. Gosh, stop it. Welcome back to Standby for Awesome. Gosh, it's been a great show. It's been phenomenal, Marcy. Call me it one more time. One more time. And I will take... I'll stop key. ringing the bell. I will I just... take your little funny little yellow bird over there. That's... A... That is C three PO. Smash it. It's got a red handle because C three PO had a red arm and the Force Awakens, and I'm about to awaken a can of whoop, you know what, on your fake hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before we do all that, Dex, will you tell our people about the Patreon? Yeah, but before I do that, how was that? Uh, how was that drinking? My oh, coffee? Might have just. It was. Might have spit in it earlier. You spit in his drink? That's mean. There's video proof of that, that, I, that I did it. And you just drank my spit. Cool, Marcy. You just spanked, spanked, spanked Marcy. You spanked Marcy. Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Whoa. Ah. Dead. This huh? is very embarrassing. Yeah. You look so Weird. different. It's weird. Thought that was real, huh? Well, it's not. But you know what is real? Patreon.com slash standby for awesome. Our show is doing some great things. We're really thankful to everyone who is financially supporting the show. If you love the show and you want to be a part of it, please send your support. Patreon.com slash standby for awesome. Maybe, just maybe, we can afford to get some real treatment for Dex. Dex, you... Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be here next week. We've got a special guest. I'm what? You, buddy. Thanks, well, no, buddy. no. You, She's going to sit right You're here. You're our moderator. That's right. I said Mediator? she is Gosh. going to sit right here. Don't.